In this video, I will show you how you can actually create a pattern for a rafter by simply setting it into a certain position and then tracing it. So this isn't going to require a lot of complicated measurements and you're not even going to need to know what the pitch of the roof actually is. But you will need to have a couple of starting points. Now I actually went into a store by my house that had a patio roof built like this coming off of the building and thought that the information in this video might be helpful to some of you. So here's basically what I would do if I didn't know what the roof pitch was and I didn't want to calculate the length of the rafters or do any stuff like that. I would just simply attach a board about an inch below the top of the beam like I've done here. And you can use nails or screws. And this is just simply going to be something that we can rest the rafter on. And you can do this by yourself. You really don't need any help. And if you want to make the seat cut smaller or longer, just simply lower or raise this board to make the necessary adjustments. So after you've put it in place, just simply attach it to the ledger. And I've done that with a screw. Again, you can use a nail if you want to. And it's not too difficult to figure out what we're going to do from here. We're just simply going to trace the top of the roof rafter and then go down to the bottom and trace out the seat cut. So not too difficult. And next up, I've got to mention this problem. I've ran into it before. I've actually cut a pattern like this that worked at one end, but it didn't work at the other end because either the ledger was out of level or the beam wasn't parallel to the ledger. And to do this, just simply grab your pattern and move it over about four feet or go to the center of the beam and then go to the other side of the beam. Or if you're using expensive lumber, cut one rafter at a time and then make the necessary adjustments if there are any. And if you run into a situation where the seat cut is a little further away from the beam or you have a gap in between the top of the rafter and the ledger, then you can make the necessary adjustments with your pattern. So for example, if I had a half inch gap between the face of the ledger and the face of the rafter, then I would just simply lay my pattern on top of the roof rafter I was going to cut. Remember, we're going to use this as a pattern here. And then just simply add a half inch to this part of the roof rafter. Make the roof rafter a little bit longer. And of course, if it needs to be a little bit shorter, just simply measure the gap between the seat cut and the beam and then remove that from the top of the roof rafter. And of course, if you have a situation where the ledger isn't up against the wall, it's not going to be as easy to trace it as in our first example. Then all you need to do is attach this board to the bottom the same way you did before and then grab a piece of lumber you're going to be using for a pattern and then position it something like this. And again, we can use a screw or a nail to attach it to the side of the ledger. And don't forget that this part right here, the top of the roof rafter, needs to line up with this point right here on the ledger. And you might need to use a straight edge or something like that to get that to work out for you because you can see here that you're not going to be able to line it up with the gap at the top. And another tip I'd like to throw out there is you could always just cut a random cut on the rafter pattern and then that might make it easier for you to line this part up with this part here. And then just grab a 2x4 or a 2x6. You can always use a measuring tape if you want to. And then you're going to use this right here to draw the plum cut line on the roof rafter pattern. And then take the rafter down and cut it. I have it in place here so you can get an idea of what I've done. And I haven't traced anything or cut anything at the bottom yet. And then after we've made the cut, we're going to reposition it. And this might require a block here if you're working by yourself. If not, somebody can hold this at the top in this position here. And don't forget if I was to move this over to here, it's going to be out of square a little bit. I'm not about to suggest you're going to have a problem with it but I wouldn't do it that way. And now you can go ahead and trace the bottom of the seat cut to create your roof rafter pattern for your patio or whatever else you're going to be using this particular method for. And thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, let us know by hitting the thumbs up button or letting us know in the comment area.